Hey, it's James with Net News Left. You're joining us via Zoom, but not via video, is Jagmeet uh, Singh, the leader of Canada's New Democratic Party. Okay, but we're heading right in to budget season. This is a key time for Canada. What is the NDP looking for in the federal budget? Well, the two main priorities that we've identified was cost of living, and in the cost of living, it's grocery prices and housing so we want to see real investments in both of those things and so far what we've uh, been pushing for we've seen the government make announcements on we wanted to protect renters with a renters protection fund that seems to be moving forward which we're encouraged by we also pushed for a school lunch program or a school food program a program that would help ensure that kids would get a nutritious meal at school that's something that the liberals promised uh for years but never really moved forward on something that Jack Layton and Olivia Chow had long been advocating for. So he pushed for that and the government made an announcement to that effect. So, so far we've got some relief on people when it comes to their groceries by helping their kids have a nutritious meal in school, save money for parents, help them take one thing off their plate and make sure those kids can focus on school and with the renters protection fund, that's going to help renters. So those are two things, but there's more things that we've been pushing for and we've been getting some positive signs. We wanted to see, a, a support for volunteer forest fire uh, forest firefighters and those firefighters who volunteer and do that work in different rural and remote communities we push for a credit for them a tax credit which we were able to obtain again just recently so we're seeing a lot of the things that we're asking for showing up you feel that the um the liberals are taking the um agreement with the new democrats more seriously now because the conservatives have been climbing in the polls over the liberals does that give you more room to push the government a little harder oh yeah we've been definitely using the position we have to get as much possible for people and we've noticed that we've been able to get more out of them recently and that we're going to keep on doing that our plan is use the power we have to squeeze as much possible out of the government and and we're proud that we're able to do that the the issue of food prices is one that I think every family in Canada, uh, probably me and you included, you know, you go to the grocery store and it seems prices, you know, the consumer price index gives us a percentage for inflation, but it seems the grocery store has a new number of its of its own. You know, items are going up a dollar or two on a $10 item. Uh, a case of 30 eggs has gone from $9 to $13 here in Thunder Bay. And I'm sure similar pricing across the country. What can be done to, to reduce inflation and make groceries more affordable again? Well, this is really important because it's going to require us identifying the actual problem. And what we've seen from conservatives is they are, they're trying to use deception and distraction when clearly the evidence is showing through economists, through the Competition Bureau, and through countless people that the major reason why our cost of groceries are going up is because of corporate greed. These large corporate grocery stores, which have a stranglehold on the market, there's really just three CEOs that run the majority of grocery stores we go to. They are making record profits. And when I say that, I don't mean good profits, high profits, large profits, literally record profits at a time when Canadians are having record-breaking food bank usage and struggling to buy their food. So that's a problem. We have to go after corporate greed. And it's not something we're strangers to in Canada. In 2018, you might recall, the large bread companies, bread producers, and the large corporate grocery stores were found guilty of colluding to increase the cost or the price of bread. And they ripped off families that way. And folks got a little voucher in the mail or a check in the mail. So we know that this is something that companies have done in the past. We are very concerned that that's exactly what's going on now. So we need to go after corporate greed. That's something that Pierre Polyev and Justin Trudeau have completely ignored. Now, one of the ones that keeps coming up, and if you know, for Canadians watching the House of Commons for question period, uh, the Conservatives are on that carbon tax, you know, acts the tax and the price of everything going up. Where does the NDP sit on the carbon tax? Well, we're concerned about in the fight to protect the planet and protect our environment, which people know is a very serious concern. In the north, people saw a record forest fires in, in the Thunder Bay region. It's something that people are concerned about. We've seen forest fires lasting longer, burning hotter, creating bad air condition, air quality for our kids. So we know this is a serious concern, but we don't want the burden to fall on everyday families. And we're worried about that approach that the liberals have taken. But one thing is for certain, the conservatives are not serious about cost of living. 
Because if the real reason, the major contributor to the cost of groceries going up is corporate greed, and they're saying nothing about that, it shows me that they're not actually serious about bringing down the prices. And I know why. The chief strategist for the Conservative Party of Canada is a lobbyist for the largest corporate grocery store, Loblaws. So it's no surprise that they're ignoring the real problem. They're not talking about the real cause of your grocery prices going up and distracting and dividing Canadians instead because they're not interested in actually bringing down the prices. Now, as we're as we're heading, you know, next year into a federal election, you know, we've got this budget. We'll have a budget again next year. What is the NDP doing across the country and then specifically, say, in northwestern Ontario to get the message out? Well, we're we're getting out there by making sure we, we spend time on local channels like yours and making sure we go to those communities. I've been touring across the country and I'll be spending time in northern Ontario. So we're trying to spend time in communities to make sure they know that we are there, we care about them, and we're trying to fight to make sure people know that uh, they can count on us, on the real challenges you're up against. High grocery prices, we're taking on corporate greed. Can't find an affordable home? Well, we are trying to build homes that are affordable. The conservatives aren't going to do that. The conservatives' track record on building affordable homes is abysmal. They lost 800,000 affordable homes. When, not lost, they sold them off to rich developers. They're not interested in building homes that they, people can afford. They want to make the rich developer friends richer. That's what we saw with Doug Ford. He got caught doing that with the scandal with the green belt. This is what conservatives do. They make their rich friends richer. They're not interested in affordability. So we're going to try to fight back and, and show people that we've delivered things like dental care and pharma care and child care, real things that make people's lives better. And we're going to fight for more. I appreciate your time today. And I want to thank you for talking with us at Net News Ledger. Is there any other final closing message you'd like to share? Just uh, thanks so much for the opportunity. And to people in the North, the New Democrats truly believe in building a Canada where no one's left behind. And that means making sure people in the North know that we've got their back and we're fighting for the things that will really make their lives better. Lower grocery prices, affordable homes. We can do that by fighting corporate greed, by investing in homes that people can afford. Chuck Sig, leader of Canada's New Democratic Party. This is James with Net News Ledger. Thanks for tuning in. Like what you see? Subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure to get the notifications.